<laughs> Hi, Patrick. How are you? I'm very good, thank you. So, would you like to introduce yourself? Yes, my name is Patrick Mayworm. I am a corporate finance uh, executive, but I have taken uh, a year off from my work so that I can spend some time in Florida building an airplane. It's kind of crazy, but that's what I'm, that's what I'm doing. Fantastic. So how do you view the coronavirus? Are you afraid or you think it's just a normal flu? Oh no, it's much more serious. It's clearly much more serious. It's much more contagious. Mm -hmm. And um, I think um, people are getting a little bit more serious about it, which is a little bit too late, I think. I think we need to move much faster, mm -hmm. much faster to stop it, just like they did in China and South Korea, I think. So people in the US realize it's a little bit late to be safe. Yes. No question, no question. Mm -hmm. So will you wear a mask when you go out? Uh, no, I think masks should be reserved for the healthcare professionals, the hospitals. Mm -hmm. They need masks now. Mm -hmm. um, as long as people, I think, stay far apart from each other. Mm -hmm. um, and if people are sick, they should wear a mask. But if you're not sick, there's no real reason to wear a mask right now. Plus, so, yeah. there are shortages of masks. There are shortages of masks. So we um, need to wear those masks for the nurses and doctors and people in the hospitals right now. Okay, so you don't wear masks because uh, there's a shortage of the masks in the US. Well, I don't think it's very, it doesn't do much good for me right now. I'm not sick and I'm not really next to a lot of people. So I don't, I don't wear it because I don't think it's, it's needed. But most importantly, it's because there's a shortage, yes. So when you go to the public, if you see people wear masks, uh, you think they are sick, or you think they are just being no, cautious? Maybe it's just they, they could be sick, but they may be just overly cautious. Mm. How do you view them? You will keep away from them, or you? No, I think we should all be six feet, uh, two meters away from everyone. So uh, yeah. I think it's uh, I don't I don't I think they're just cautious. That's all. And um, how do you protect yourself every day? Uh, besides washing hands and not touching your face as much. Um, the, normal, the normal hygiene, the normal practices that the healthcare professionals recommend, so. Just, just this? Just this, that's yeah. all I need. You, if you go outside, you just uh, uh, behave as normal. As normal and wash your hands every, all the time, yeah. Yeah, so uh, recently uh, you only work at home or you still go out to, to meet well, people? I go out to, not to meet people, no. I mean, other than my family, um, I go to the factory to work because I'm working at that factory now building my airplane. But there are only a few people there. It's not like we're close together at all. I'm just doing the work with my own hands. So it's, mm -hmm. it's different than in the past when I was working in offices or close to people. So I'm not doing that right now at all, no. So uh, as you know, is it easy to get a test of coronavirus or is it expensive? Well, two things. One, you can't get it, right? We're way behind in, in getting the tests. That's the biggest thing that the healthcare professionals have said. Mm -hmm. So there are, there's a very, very large shortage of tests. But once they do become available, they'll be free to everybody. There's no cost to that. Does the medical treatment of the virus expensive in the US? Uh, no, it's going to be completely free for everybody. Oh, really? So it will be covered by the national insurance? Right, yes, the, the national government will cover all the tests and any, if anyone's infected, it'll be covering their health as well. Oh, wow. so, so it's completely free. It's completely free. That's great, it's good to yeah, hear. Yeah, well, it should be, it should be. <laughs> uh, some people say that uh, it's not just food and beverage. Um, people in the States, they also buy more guns. Is that true? I, I haven't heard that, that's interesting. It's yeah. possible, too, but I don't think a gun or a bullet is going to affect the coronavirus. I mean, the coronavirus. Mm -hmm. um, does, you know, I don't know what a gun's going to do. <laughs> it's not going to help keep you safe. But if they do that, then that's just another. It's typical of, of societies when they're anxious, they're afraid, they don't know what's going on. Mm -hmm. They do silly things like that. So. Do you think the virus is originally from China or it's it's a it's a global issue. It's not it's not a national yes, issue. Of course, that's not it, it's not a Chinese virus. Mm -hmm. So I don't think we should be talking like that. It yeah, doesn't help. Yeah, exactly. 
And uh, due to the coronavirus care, the American stock market is hot for three times within one month. Does it affect your financial situation? Well, of course. I mean, everybody's, I mean, anybody who's got equities or has investments uh, is going to be affected by this. Um, I learned over in 2008 and I learned in 2000 during the stock market crash after the uh, internet bubble of 2000 that diversification is very important. Having cash available is always important. So I made sure I had at least two years of cash available so I can weather the storm, but a lot of people can't. So I'm lucky uh, in the sense that I, sure, my stocks have all gone down 20, 30%, but they'll come back again, just like they did in 2008, just like they did in 2001. So, um, um, so I'm fine financially, I'm fine, I'm fine. Uh, other people are not, and so the government is going to have to support that, for sure. Okay, last question is, <laughs> what do you want to do after the situation is under control? What do you want to do the most? I uh, the most fly my airplane, finish my airplane and fly my airplane and get back to normal life again. I think that's it. Okay. Travel again. Yeah, okay. Travel is the most important. Okay. Thank you so much and good luck to your airplane. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Good to see you, Grace.